excellence. May today there be peace within. May you trust God that you are exactly where you are meant to be. May you not forget the infinite possibilities that are born of faith. May you use your gifts that you have received and pass on the love that has been given to you. May you be content knowing that you are a child of God. Let this presence settle into your bones and allow your soul the freedom to sing and dance, praise and love. It is there for each and every one of you. A prayer from St. Teresa. Okay, well, I say let's get it started up here. But before we do, let's give a round of applause to the galaxy because that was one great meal. And also, if you have, whoops, I'm kind of squeaking. If you have any uh, leftover cheesecake, if you could raise your hand, please. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Well, good evening and welcome to the 2014 Wadsworth Area Chamber of Commerce Rosie Awards. I'm Janie Parrish, the Executive Director of the Wadsworth Area Chamber of Commerce. Tonight, we honor Wadsworth's top businesses, organization, and business professional. The nominees were chosen by you, the Wadsworth Chamber members. The votes have been tallied and the winners will soon be announced. Oh, isn't that exciting? Yeah. <laughs> At this annual gathering that has had many different formats, there is one constant that remains. The nominees and the winners here tonight have a great love for the city. They volunteer, they donate, they are active, and they are present. They are the foundation of success which Wadsworth is built on, a foundation of 200 years. Each nominee, whether a company, organization, or individual, demonstrates a spirit of excellence in serving this community. In this special bicentennial year, we celebrate the nominees as well as the people who served before us to make Wadsworth a great place to live and work. We're grateful for these people and businesses for their support of the 2014 Rosie Awards. First, we want to thank Glenn Rutherford. He's our official Rosie photographer. Could you shave about 20 pounds off those pictures for me? <laughs> Just asking. Okay, and then um, we have our bicentennial photographer here, Tom Stugmeyer. He's in the back here. <laughs> and that beautiful piano music that you heard uh, during and before dinner is from John Burke, our Medina County treasurer. Thank you, John. <laughs> I didn't want to mention right now that he's the one that you pay your taxes to. Just, re just remember the music. Okay. To Kelly Johnson of Bueller's Fresh Foods in Wadsworth for the creation and the donation of those lovely Rose Center pieces. Very nice. Were you guys out smoking? Okay. Just checking. I just tell you, I have no filter. It just, it just comes out. Okay, and I want to thank Joanna Perino of WCTV for the creation of this evening's video. That's a lot of work, so thank you, Joanna. Raise your hand. And also John Matting and John Bernard of WCTV for filming the 2014 Rosie Awards. Well. And I wanted, um, oh, and first, in your programs, it said for, thank, or for filming the 2013 Rosie Awards. Well, that was a cut and paste thing. So anyways, um, so I'm thanking them for last year and this year. <laughs> okay. And I want to thank two special ladies for helping us out, um, Kay Bowman and Marty Novak, if you could please stand up. 
Thank you. They tied and glued their fingers together and put sequins on, and, and it was just a good time had by all. Of course, they said, don't call me again next year. <laughs> and I do want to thank our generous table sponsors uh, for helping us to be able to put on the Rosies. The Advanced Insurance Designs, Benefit Management Services of Ohio, Terry and Associates, Clamp Co. Products, ComDot, SaberLogic, Siebert Keck Insurance Agency, Suprema, Summa Wadsworth Ritman Hospital, The O'Neill Group, The Post Newspapers. Don't they do a nice job for Wadsworth, The Post? Let's clap for them. <laughs> the Restored Church of God, Forey, Sater, Seymour, and Pease, LLP, and Wadsworth Real Estate. So thanks to all of those people. Okay, so tonight we're celebrating with eight categories of excellence, as well as the presentation of the Key to the City by Mayor Robin Lawbaugh. On to the awards. Okay, our first presenter. Good evening. I'm Eric Allwood. I'm a member of the Wadsworth Chamber Board of Directors. Um, I'm here to to present the. Uh, Business Employee of the Year. Business Employee of the Year. And the nominees are Kelly Johnson of Bueller's. Kelly Johnson, lead designer of the Wadsworth Bueller's Flower Shop, is celebrating 50 years serving the Wadsworth community in the floral industry. In 1964, Kelly began his floral career at Daniel's Blossom Shop on the Wadsworth Square as a delivery boy for one dollar an hour and he was rich. On July 4, 1971, he married Janet and a year later opened Picket Fence Floral where he was the owner, operator and designer for 25 years. Kelly attended the FTD Design School, graduating first in his class. He is an FTD Master Designer and regularly attends seminars to keep him and Wadsworth fresh on current trends. Working as the lead designer for Bueller's Flower Shop, he is also a design trainer and decorator for other Bueller stores. Kelly has been the president, vice president, and board member of the Northern Ohio unit of Teleflora Wire Service. Kelly is involved in Wadsworth Garden Club presentations, including the 200th anniversary teas that are guaranteed to bring excitement, joy, and beauty. Kelly and Janet, his wife of 42 years, have two sons and daughters-in-law, Joel and Kara, and Zach and Sarah, along with five grandchildren, Tate, Jack, Lincoln, Liam, and their first granddaughter in four generations of Johnsons, Mia. Joys, sorrows, celebrations, and all the rest, Kelly has loved being involved in this town. He said, it has been an honor and a privilege to serve you with one rose or more. I love you, Wadsworth. Joanna Perino of WCTV. Joanna Perino is the Operations and Community Relations Coordinator for WCTV. She has enjoyed working with the Wadsworth community for 22 years and feels she has been blessed with a great job that is different every day. With WCTV producing nearly 2,000 shows per year, Joanna keeps busy in an interesting and entertaining environment and appreciates that she is surrounded by wonderful co-workers, producers, and volunteers that she considers friends. One of her proudest accomplishments is the creation of the WCTV Clapper Awards, which are presented to the producers of the best programming on WCTV. She feels it's a great opportunity to give well-deserved recognition to WCTV's dedicated producers and volunteers. Joanna is a graduate of the University of Akron with a Master of Business Administration and she was recently selected by the Women's Network of Northeast Ohio to be the guest speaker at Lunch with a Notable Woman in June. She has enjoyed serving the community on many nonprofit boards and committees, including her 2013 term as president of the Wadsworth Area Chamber of Commerce. She is a graduate of Leadership Medina County and continues to serve on the Chamber Board, on all fundraising event committees, 
and as the publicity chair for the Wadsworth Bicentennial Executive Committee. Joanna also operates her own business as an independent Mary Kay Beauty Consultant and just last week became a licensed realtor with Prudential Kovac Realtors. Last summer, she enjoyed a trip visiting four countries in Europe, including Italy, where her passion for shoes took on a whole new meaning. Ben Walker of Comdoc. Ben Walker, account manager with Comdoc, a Xerox company, grew up in Stowe and currently resides there. He graduated from the University of Akron with a Bachelor of Science degree in Marketing Management and a Bachelor of Science in E-Business and Advertising. Ben works in the Medina County area for Comdoc. He continues to make an impact daily in the Medina County community by helping businesses reduce costs, improve overall efficiency, and increase profitability. Ben is involved in the Leadership Medina County Young Professionals and is on the steering committee for the Wadsworth Young Professionals. He has helped raise money for United Way, Kicking It for Kids, Toys for Tots, Make-A-Wish Foundation, the Wadsworth Fish Organization, YMCA, and many more. Each year, Ben works with students to help them succeed in the workplace through Future Business Leaders of America and also the University of Akron. He is actively working with United Way of Medina County and the Medina County District Library for their One Book, One Community program with the goal of providing an inspirational book, Wonder, to every sixth grade student in Medina County. Ben was the Comdoc President's Club winner for 2013 and was awarded a tropical paradise trip to Punta Cana this spring. And the winner is Joanna. for my job interview at WCTV. I lived in Akron, and when I drove here, all I saw were fields and horses, and I thought, there is no way that there's a TV station in this town. But there was, and thankfully, Bill Lyron offered me the job, and I took it. Um, I remember calling my mom, who's here with me tonight, on the way home and saying, I'm not sure about this place, Wadsworth, but I'm gonna give it a shot. And it turns out that shop was one of the best decisions that I've made in my life. The Wadsworth community has been amazing to me, both professionally and personally. A lot of you in this room, I see, are my friends. And it's a pleasure for me to call you my friends. I also get to work with two of the best guys that you'll ever want to meet. John Bernard, who's on our camera, and John Madding over here. And I also get to work with a very long list of dedicated volunteers. Uh, we all make a great team, but it's because of what all of them do that it gives me the opportunity to do, to do what I do in the community, and I thank all of them for that. I'm looking forward to many more years here in Wadsworth, and I truly appreciate this award. Thank you very much.
Hi, I'm Brooke Benelli, and I'm on the Chamber of Board of Directors, and I'm also the representative for Wadsworth Young Professionals. Our next award is Business Manager of the Year. Business Manager of the Year, and the nominees are Doug Beeman of Wadsworth City Schools. Doug Beeman is a 1990 graduate of Wadsworth High School and a lifelong resident of Wadsworth, where he lives with his wife, Cindy, and their three children. Doug is extremely proud to raise his family in this community and have his children attend Wadsworth City School. Doug is the treasurer and CFO for the Wadsworth City School District since 2004. Prior to assuming that position, Doug was the Wadsworth City Schools District Assistant Treasurer for eight years. He received his bachelor's degree in business administration from Kent State University and a master's in education administration from Ashland University. Doug has a professional membership to the Ohio Association of School Business Officials and is a graduate of their Leadership Academy. He is a Leadership Medina County graduate and served as an officer of the Wadsworth Public Library Foundation Board. Doug serves on the City of Wadsworth Tax Incentive Review Council and is a member of the Wadsworth Lions Club. Doug has been recognized by the Auditor of State in 2011 and 2013 with the Auditor of State Award for the school's financial audits. He has also coached in the Wadsworth Youth Basketball, Baseball, Football, and Soccer Associations. Doug enjoys spending family time at Salt Fork State Park, partaking in water sports, and enjoying the natural surroundings of the area. Marjorie Cook of Ideal Graphics. In 2005, Marjorie joined Ideal Graphics, a graphic design agency that builds products and services around the unique business needs of their clients. She performs a variety of duties in sales, customer service, and project management. She enjoys helping clients develop and expand their brand and image and working with the design staff on their projects. This nomination would not be possible without the collaborative nature and team approach employed at Ideal. She is grateful for the opportunities and flexibility given to her by the ownership. Ideal's commitment to personal and professional development, as well as family, creates an environment with a great team of people that she is honored to work with. Marjorie is the proud parent of a teenage son, Alex. They live with their eight-year-old poodle, Cuddles. Her passion for children and families led her to involvement with Mental Health America, where she supports other parents and is a voice for change on the local, state, and national level. Her advocacy for family-driven services with a focus on resiliency is fueled by the successes and struggles that she and her son encounter personally on their journey. She hopes that one day all children will have what they need to be successful at school, at home, and in the community. Marjorie is an avid reader, loves cooking, baseball, and spending time with her son. She is always looking for opportunities to use her gift of acts of service. Nancy Likens of the Suprema Senior Center and Cafe. Nancy Likens has served as the director of the Wadsworth Suprema Senior Center for the past 11 years. Originally from Copley, Nancy earned a bachelor's degree in family development and consumer science from the University of Akron. She spent the early part of her career in the skilled nursing care setting before being appointed as director of the Medina County Office for Older Adults in 1988. After 12 years of service with the county, Nancy was named Director of Development for HM Life Opportunity Services, a transitional housing program in Akron, and served for two years before beginning her current position. Nancy has served as a strong advocate for older adults and has worked in concert with community partners to expand programs and service opportunities for senior citizens. Nancy has served in a wide variety of leadership capabilities in the social services arena, locally and beyond. She is a graduate of Leadership Medina County and served as a board member for the Western Reserve Area Agency on Aging, served as past president of the Medina County Family First Council, and has been active in the Medina County Senior Services Network, Medina County Adult Advisory Consortium, and Medina County Transit Advisory Council. She was named as a delegate to the White House Conference on Aging in 1995 
received the 2005 Wadsworth Salvation Army Community Partner of the Year Award, served on the Ohio Department of Aging Civic Engagement Council, and received the Wadsworth Senior Advocate Hall of Fame Lifetime Achievement Award. Nancy was named as the 2014 recipient of the Western Reserve Area Agency on Aging Excellence in Leadership Award. Nancy and her husband David live in Wadsworth and have two sons, Ryan and Dustin. Nancy enjoys her pets, sports, especially football, beach vacations, and spending time with her busy family. Mary Alice Mance of Marion's Closet. Mary Alice Mance is a true Wadsworth girl. She was born and raised in Wadsworth and has always resided in her beloved Wadsworth community. For 30 years, Mary Alice was employed by the Medina County Probate and Juvenile Courts and served in several capacities. She has been a volunteer at Marion's Closet since the organization opened in 2007. Marion's Closet contributes to our community by offering families in need clothing and household goods. Families are then able to use their limited financial resources for necessities such as rent, utilities, and food. Through their friendship, compassion, resources, and guidelines, Marion's Closet offers hope for a bright future. Mary Alice has served for the past five years as Managing Director and most currently as Operations Director. Mary Alice and her husband Walter have five children, 12 grandchildren, and three great-grandchildren. She is an active member of First Christian Church. Although some people have expressed to Mary Alice that her many years and hours that she has spent for Marion's Closet is a sacrifice, she finds it extremely rewarding. With the support of her family, her life is enriched by the many people she has come to cherish. Mary Alice would like to acknowledge Marion's Closet Executive Director Valerie Mills for her outstanding work and dedication. She feels blessed to be part of this heartfelt ministry and to be able to help those in need in whatever capacity that might be. And the winner is Doug Beeman. Thank you. Wow. Um, uh, I'm, I'm truly honored. Uh, thank you. I want to thank the, the Chamber of Commerce for this award. Um, it's, it's truly a pleasure. I want to thank a few other people because without these people, I certainly would not be standing up here. First is my wife, Cindy. Um, being, the, being the wife of the treasurer is not always the easiest job, and uh, she certainly takes the, the brunt of quite a few things. That, at viewers and stuff, people are much more apt to talk to her than they are to me sometimes, so thank you for that. Um, I'd like to thank my staff, obviously, uh, Dr. Hill, the administrative team at Wadsworth City Schools, and certainly the Board of Education for giving me the opportunity to serve as fiscal officer at Wadsworth City Schools. I truly love my job and can't imagine doing anything else. Um, this is truly my passion, and I'm thankful for that. Um, I'd also like to thank uh, just a couple people individually. I don't think Dr. Fortner's here, but I would like to thank him for the past 10 years working with him. He taught me quite a bit about leadership and what it takes to be a leader, and I'm, I'm truly thankful to him. And then also Paula Canterbury, not only for this um, nomination tonight, but Paula is a, a great friend and great colleague and has done a lot for me and for my family, and, and I thank you for that also, Paula. So thank you very much to the Chamber. I appreciate it. Hello, I'm Paula Canterbury and I'm one of the Chamber's Board of Directors and the Program Director. This award is for Business Entrepreneur of the Year. Business Entrepreneur of the Year and the nominees are Toby Butt of Allen and Hartzell. If entrepreneurship is defined as one who organizes manages or assumes the risks of a business, Toby Butt's career began at age 10 with a paper route in Michigan where he was responsible for picking up and delivering papers, collecting payment from customers, 
and paying the newspaper once a week. Toby also sold the paper on the main downtown corner on Sunday morning after delivering his regular route and worked the horse barns and local racetrack selling the paper for the horse racing section information. So the path was clear pretty early that his mindset was to work for himself, something he has done in the insurance industry for over 40 years. Toby began his insurance career in 1972 following graduation from the University of Cincinnati as a field agent with the Equitable Society of New York in their Akron office. In 1975, he joined Allen & Hartzell during the agency's 100th anniversary and became president in 1988, serving as such until the beginning of this year. He has earned three professional insurance designations and a master's degree in financial services. No entrepreneur is any more successful than the people he or she surrounds themselves with. And over the years, Toby has been blessed to have a very supportive and professional staff. Allen & Hartzell's succession team is now in place and in great hands moving forward to meet the insurance, financial services, and real estate needs of the community. Toby has been actively involved in many insurance industry and community organizations, the Wadsworth Rotary Club and Rotary International, Wadsworth Salvation Army Advisory Board, Wadsworth Red Cross, the United Way, the Wadsworth Chamber of Commerce, Wadsworth Public Library Foundation, he is the current chair of the Wadsworth Rittman Hospital Foundation Board, Wadsworth Independent Business Association, the University of Cincinnati Alumni Association, the Society of Financial Service Professionals, and the Professional Insurance Agents Association. He also served six years in the Ohio National Guard. Toby and his wife Chris enjoy an active outdoor lifestyle, walking, hiking, and trying to play golf. In the past few years, they have been fortunate to travel in many European countries. Dr. Larry Markley of All Creatures Veterinary Clinic and Lodge. Dr. Larry Markley is the owner of All Creatures Veterinary Clinic and Lodge in Rittman, which opened in 1989 and the recently opened Wadsworth location in 2013. Larry earned his bachelor's degree in animal science and nutrition, doctor of veterinary medicine, and a master's degree in veterinary preventive medicine from The Ohio State University. His All Creatures Veterinary Clinic and Lodge offers well checks, vaccines, blood chemistry, and laboratory medication, pet foods, and rechecks, and is able to provide referrals to his Rittman location for more complex cases. Dr. Margley is the host of the WCTV program, Animal Crackers, that provides educational and pet care tips. The clinic staff participates in the Wadsworth Blue Tip Parade each year. Dr. Markley is a member of the American Veterinary Medical Association, the Ohio Veterinary Association, and the American Laser Surgical Association. He is a trustee for the Wayne County Community Foundation, and he's married to Sally. They have many pets of their own that they refer to as their children. Larry is happy to be providing services to his many Wadsworth clients at a location that is closer and more convenient. Mark Nowak of Fresh Fabulous Frozen, Frogan Yozert. Instead of franchising, Mark Nowak launched his own brand of frozen yogurt. After 20 years in corporate America, Mark created Frogan Yozert, insisting on fresh yogurt and fruit to deliver the highest quality product at the lowest price point. Mark and his wife Linda designed their own business model. They were approached by many communities regarding opening their first shop. However, they believed that Wadsworth was the right fit for their brand. Mark and Linda stuck to their guns and they are very thankful they did. Frogan Yozert offers unique and delicious flavors. Java chip, sea salt caramel, luscious lemon, cookies and cream, snickerdoodle, espresso, and Caribbean colada, just to name a few. This self-serve frozen yogurt business focuses on freshness and quality. Customers enjoy creating their own healthy masterpiece in a bright, happy atmosphere. Every day there are 12 fresh frozen yogurts available, some low fat and some sugar free, and 65 hot or cold toppings including fresh fruit. Since opening, Mark has donated to community fundraisers ranging from Relay for Life to the Wadsworth After Prom, 
exceeding $2,500 in donations for their first year in business. Delicious frozen yogurt plus a caring community partner equals a great business planted firmly in Wadsworth. And the Rosie goes to Dr. Larry Markley. If I'd known you were in the back, I would have prepared a song as you walked out. <laughs> I'd like to say thank you to the people of the Wadsworth Chamber, and the city of Wadsworth and surrounding area, uh, Joanna, WCC TV. Uh, the, I think my beginnings uh, in the practice in Ritman and then becoming familiar with Wadsworth from not only high school playing sports here from Orville and then coming into the town joining Rotary and Ritman and then working with the Wadsworth Rotary and uh, with uh, Dick and Jan Sponsler with the TV show, uh, made it a lot of fun and uh, I'm totally shocked, so thank you. <laughs> Next award is Business Advocate of the Year. Business Advocate of the Year, and the nominees are Toby Butt of Allen and Hartzell. Having been active in the Wadsworth business community since 1973, Toby Butt of Allen and Hartzell has seen many businesses come and go. Allen and Hartzell has been fortunate to work closely with many local businesses throughout the years and it's obvious that without them there is no us. Toby believes that we all rely upon each other and our fate is very interrelated. So why wouldn't we be championing for each other? He wants to do whatever he can to support and promote the business next door, down the street, or across town because we may presently be doing business together or we may have that opportunity in the future. And whether we are or not, he wants businesses in our community that he personally needs for their goods and services. Toby believes that being actively involved as a business person is a civic and social responsibility. It is also a great way to feel the pulse of what is taking place. It offers opportunities to bring parties together who may not know or be aware of each other. One of the reasons for the establishment of the Wadsworth Independent Business Association was to give businesses a better form in the community and an opportunity to interact with someone they may not have met before. Weba's goal is to educate the businesses and consumer of the value of locally owned independent business in our local community. Toby believes it is very important to create an environment of cooperation and openness. While this is easier said than done due to the diverse nature of the businesses and ownership, when the message says the right thing, it will resonate with all those who truly feel a vested interest in the business community. Sandy Frohmeyer of Medina County Career Center Adult Education. Sandy Frohmeyer, business consultant with the Adult and Continuing Education Division of the Medina County Career Center, grew up in a small town in southern Ohio. She attended the University of Cincinnati and earned an associate's degree in business administration. Through the University of Cincinnati's co-op program, Sandy entered the world of retail and was accepted into the executive training program where she chose the human resources aspect of retail. Sandy moved to Medina in 1973 and continued in human resources management positions in retail, staffing services, and a wholesale floral and seed company. With the desire to work in Medina County, she accepted a position with Windfall Industries in job development for individuals with disabilities. Due to the downturn in the economy, that position was eliminated and she was hired by Goodwill Industries at the Medina County Workforce Development Center doing job development and placement. 
Today at the Career Center, Sandy is involved in working with companies to help solve problems related to production through the Medina Business Institute and provide relevant training opportunities for incumbent workers and potential workers who want to increase and upgrade their skills. Sandy currently serves in chair positions with the Medina County Economic Development Corporation's Workforce Education Committee and Leadership Medina County's Out and About Committee, which enhances business awareness and addresses needs. She is active with Leadership Medina County, the Society for Human Resource Management, Medina County Community Fund, Wadsworth, Medina, and Brunswick Chambers of Commerce, advisory committees for the Medina County Career Center Adult Education Program, and is a member of the Wadsworth Chambers Ambassador Committee. Karen Wilson of Wadsworth Real Estate. Karen Wilson grew up in West Virginia and moved to Wadsworth over 40 years ago to marry that good-looking guy, Roy Wilson. Karen has two children, Clark and Kebra, two grandchildren, Gavin and Kendall, and a little dog, Louie. Karen has worked for Wadsworth Real Estate for 35 years, and that includes 25 years as a real estate agent and seven years as a broker. She loves her job helping families make their dreams come true and handing them the keys to a new chapter. For Karen, promoting Wadsworth is easy because she knows it's a great city with wonderful schools and it's a place you can feel safe. It's home. Karen is a member of the National and Ohio Associations of Realtors and Medina County Board of Realtors. She is the past president of the Medina County Women's Council of Realtors. She has received the Professional Achievement Award from Medina County every year since 1997. Karen is the current president of the Wadsworth Area Chamber of Commerce and is very involved with the Wadsworth Independent Business Association, Relay for Life, and was a vital member of the fundraising committee for Hospice of Wadsworth Rittman. She likes to vacation at the beach and travel to Tennessee with her grandchildren. Karen's mantra is, shop local, shop Wadsworth. And the Rosie goes to Karen Wilson. My turn to say wow. <laughs> thank you very much. Um, just an honor to be nominated in the same category with a lot of wonderful people. It's easy to serve a city that, that you love and if you don't live here yet, we're going to bring you in and make you love Wadsworth. <laughs> thank you. I'm Christina Laskowski, one of the Chamber's Board of Directors. The next award is for Sustainable Business of the Year. Sustainable Business of the Year. And the nominees are Bueller's. The history of Bueller's Fresh Foods is a story of people and progress. Like that of any successful company, their growth and success are a result of the efforts of dedicated men and women who have worked hard to achieve their goals. Founded in 1929 by Ed and Helen Bueller, this supermarket is celebrating 85 years in the grocery business. Ed's business principles of offering quality merchandise at competitive prices, close control of operating expenses, and the recruitment and training of top-notch people has been passed through the generations of Bueller family leadership. The company is held 100% by Bueller family members under the newly created E and H Family Group. Bueller's innovative and creative spirit has made them the pace setter for many Ohio first. 
They are the first supermarket in Ohio to offer a conveyor tote system and pickup lane to load customers' groceries under cover. The first supermarket in Ohio to incorporate an ACE hardware. The first supermarket in Ohio to offer online grocery shopping for customer pickup. And the first supermarket in Ohio to operate a sustainable vehicle fueled by waste vegetable oil. This Ohio grocer is a pace setter for independence nationwide. There are 14 Bueller's locations in the Ohio cities of Akron, Canton, Brunswick, Ashland, Coshocton, Delaware, Dover, Medina, New Philadelphia, Orville, Wadsworth, and Worcester. The company has established themselves as a highly customer service oriented business with a heavy focus on localized products and more recently, a strong focus on sustainability. Giving back is a way of life at Bueller's. They are always working hard to support the charitable organizations within the communities they serve. To sum it up, at Bueller's, their mission is very simple, putting people first. Hilliard Rospert Funeral Home. In 1902, J.B. Hilliard began providing quality funeral care from his location on the Wadsworth Square. For over 60 years, his family maintained the business before selling it to the Schlupp Cox Funeral Home. During those 60 years, J.B. Hilliard Funeral Home moved from its location to Lyman Street. From 1963 to the present, the original funeral home has changed in name, but the tradition of service and care remains constant. Hilliard Rospert Funeral Home has continuously improved the physical building, as well as being dedicated and willing to change with the community's requests and bring industry changes and opportunities to the families they serve. In 2006, Dan and Belinda Rospert purchased the business and the name now reflects the new ownership, Hilliard Rospert Funeral Home. The funeral home is still locally owned and the Rosperts are both licensed funeral directors and embalmers and have resided in Wadsworth for the past 16 years. Dan has worked in the funeral service industry since the age of 14 and Belinda is a pre-arrangement specialist. With over 100 years of faithful, caring and compassionate service, the J.B. Hilliard Funeral Home has enjoyed a rich history of service. The Hilliard Rospert Funeral Home is a cornerstone of the community and under the guidance of Dan and Belinda Rospert and Adam Glenn, a licensed funeral director and embalmer, appears it will remain a Wadsworth institution for many years to come. Thompson Excavating Thompson Excavating is celebrating 50 years of doing business in Wadsworth. Founded in 1964, Dick Digger Thompson invested everything to fulfill his vision of being self-employed. Digger, along with his wife Pauline and their three young sons, had many challenges in establishing a new business. Digger's son Mark began working with his dad in high school, and during summers, as he earned a bachelor's degree in business at the University of Akron. Digger retired in 1996 in order to have more time for golf, and Mark took over Thompson Excavating. Over the years, the business needed to change and evolve due to advances in new technology, tougher government standards, and a fluctuating economy. Originally, most of their business came primarily from new construction and building contractors. Now, homeowners and businesses utilize their services that are focused on sewer and water replacement lines, waterproofing foundations, repairing downspout pipes and drain lines, installing ditch enclosures and septic systems, demolition work, and grading. Thompson Excavating is known as an honest family business that cares about and gives back to the community. The importance of volunteering in order to help others in your community is a valuable lesson Mark learned from his dad. He credits his success in business to the support of his wife, Debbie, and their four children, Hillary, Natalie, Olivia, Jack, and his new son-in-law, Sean. Mark gives a special thanks to the Wadsworth community for their many years of support. Congratulations to all the nominees. The winner is Thompson Excavating.
Wow, I'm surprised. Uh, what an honor. I'd first like to uh, thank the members of the Wadsworth Chamber for this great award. Uh, I also want to pay uh, recognition to uh, Bueller's and Hilliard Rosford Funeral Home, uh, two great companies in Wadsworth, and uh, just honored to be in the same company of, the, of those two companies. Um, I'd also uh, like to say a thank you to the community of Wadsworth, uh, both the residents and local contractors that we've served over the past 50 years and continue to serve there. Uh, it's been a great community to work in. I uh, feel awful blessed to be a part of the Wadsworth community. Uh, to my wife, Debbie, and uh, my daughter, Hillary, Natalie, Olivia, and my son, Jack, son-in-law, Sean, thank you for your support. Uh, anybody that's, in, that's been self-employed or has a business knows it's, uh, it's quite an endeavor, and it always uh, draws the family into it as well, uh, both the, through the good and the bad. So thank you for your support over the years. And uh, most of all, I'd like to thank my father, Digger Thompson. Uh, Dad, you've uh, taught me some Great life lessons over the years, and uh, proud to be your son, and proud to have this opportunity to uh, continue the business. Thank you very much. Good evening, I'm Joe Magnaca. I am one of the Chamber's Board of Directors. The next award is for the Community Improvement of the Year. Community Improvement of the Year. And the nominees are Rawiga Golf and Swim Club. Starting as a private club in 1959, Rawiga Golf and Swim Club now operates as a premier public golf course and banquet facility. The club features a championship golf course that is maintained in superb shape, conditions rarely found at a public golf course. The club also hosts numerous special events such as weddings, banquets, charity events, leagues, and outings. The focal point of Rawiga is a challenging 18-hole championship golf course. The layout, designed by noted architect E.L. Packard, offers four sets of tees and tests players of all abilities. The course plays to par 72 and stretches to 6,658 yards from the championship tees. Recently, Rawiga constructed an all-new pro shop, sports bar, and renovated their ballroom. A capital improvements project completed in 2008 was highlighted by the renovation of 148,000 square feet of cart paths. The improvements package also included the reconstruction of 11 sand traps and the addition of three new tees. The club also switched to walk mowing its bent grass greens in 2006, resulting in what are widely considered the finest putting surfaces in the area. Rawiga's reputation as a true golf club is well deserved. Players of all abilities are able to find a competitive game and enjoy a peaceful round of golf and walking is permitted at all times. Rawiga, the home of this year's Wadsworth Chamber of Commerce golf outing, is a public course with all the amenities of a private club. The Restored Church of God. Headquartered in Wadsworth, the Restored Church of God has two commissions, to preach the gospel of the coming kingdom of God to all nations and serve a rapidly growing membership through a worldwide ministry. Led by Pastor General David C. Pack, the Restored Church of God prints and distributes a vast library of books, booklets, and other literature. To support the dramatically increasing growth and activities at the church's headquarters, a beautiful state-of-the-art World Headquarters campus is being built. The Hall of Administration has been operational since May of 2013. A second building, the 12,000 square foot mail processing center, is also completed and functioning. A third building, a 4,000 square foot media center, is under construction and will be completed by mid-summer. The ambassador center, a structure to house the church's educational arm, and imperial auditorium are in the planning stages. Many beautiful gardens, trees, and bushes have been planted and will continue to be added to the campus's magnificent grounds. The campus is an idyllic setting for the rapidly expanding work of God 
and is an elegant venue for conferences. Through the work of the Restored Church of God, millions around the globe hear the good news of Christ's return to earth, find answers to life's greatest questions, and learn never before understood truths that produce real, lasting happiness. Tractor Supply Company The Tractor Supply Company is the largest operator of retail farm and ranch stores in the United States with over 1,245 stores in 48 states. They are focused on supplying the lifestyle needs of recreational farmers and ranchers. The company also serves the maintenance needs of those who enjoy the rural lifestyle, as well as tradesmen and small businesses. Tractor Supply Company stores are located in towns outlying to major metropolitan markets and in rural communities. Tractor Supply Company's goal is to show neighbors that they are their one-stop shop for everyday needs. The company offers a comprehensive selection of merchandise for equine, pet, and small animal products, including items necessary for their health, care, growth, and containment. Tractor Supply Company offers hardware, truck, towing, and tool products, and seasonal products, including lawn and garden items, power equipment, gifts and toys, as well as maintenance products for agricultural and rural use. It's a one-size-fits-all for outdoor living, including work and recreational clothing and footwear. Manager Sue Kohler has been in the farm retail business for 33 years. She and her husband Rob live in West Salem and have two children, Christy and Matt. Assistant Manager Josh Chafin appreciates all the great comments, stating that the community is glad Tractor Supply Company has found a new home in Wadsworth. And the winner is the Restored Church of God. On behalf of Mr. Pack, who's been a 25-year resident of the city of Wadsworth. He's considered it not only his home, but the fitting place to establish the world headquarters of the Restored Church of God. On behalf of the executive team that is with me here tonight, and all of those who work in this community who are active citizens and happy to be here, I want to thank you for this award. Please welcome Wadsworth's Mayor Robin Lombard to present the key to the city. certainly my privilege to present the, uh, this year's Key to the City Award. As you well know, this is Wadsworth's Bicentennial, and I have known for several years actually who would be the recipient uh, for the Key to the City this particular year. I knew it had to be somebody that had a great deep love for the community of Wadsworth. It had to be somebody that loved its history and its culture, and also somebody that spent a life, lifetime of service and I will tell you that this year's recipient certainly uh, meets those requirements. This individual, uh, first of all, loves the outdoors. Uh, this individual was instrumental in beginning the Friends of the Wadsworth Trails uh, organization, which is a fairly new organization that's done quite, quite a bit in this uh, a few years that it's been established. Uh, this individual is uh, has been an active participant over the years in the Isaac Walton League, uh, has uh, done uh, fishing tournaments and things for the youth, uh, and, and so on. But obviously a very great uh, lover of, of the outdoors. This, also, this individual also is, is, uh, loves history, uh, particularly Wadsworth history. Uh, this individual has a personal collection of Wadsworth historic pictures that rivals uh, 
anybody. In fact, many of those, those pictures are being used this year. This individual knows Wadsworth history uh, better than pretty much anybody I know. There's a, there's a couple that uh, compete with this individual, but bottom line, knows Wadsworth history and, as I said, loves it and really enjoys sharing that, his, that history with individuals, uh, such as uh, WCTV programs or presenting programs to the Historical Society or perhaps uh, doing cemetery walks. Have you figured it out yet? <laughs> perhaps while I'm stating these things, this individual, Mr. Roger Havens, can come up and join me because I kind of embarrassed him a little bit. <laughs> Gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know this is a hard thing for me to do every year. <laughs> um, but never wants to be in the, in the limelight. And never wants to be the one known to be behind the scenes. But bottom line is he's behind the scenes doing a lot of work. Um, let's see here. Loves Wadsworth, as I mentioned. Serves on Wadsworth, downtown Wadsworth board and has for many years uh, since its establishment. Uh, he just never can get away from it. We keep recruiting him to be back on this board. Uh, he's been very instrumental in many of the activities that have been held downtown. He thinks of ingenious ways of getting people that attend those downtown events to get them into the stores and into the shops, which is obviously shows that his love of, of downtown Wadsworth and, and the importance that he plays uh, in, in making sure that the businesses uh, benefit from those activities. Uh, he has a crea creative mind. Uh, he, I don't know if everybody knows this, but every year he uh, writes a story uh, for the Candlelight Walk, and it's for the children. But it's a lengthy story that tells something about Wadsworth history, or perhaps, uh, and, and I don't know why, but it always involves a fire truck. <laughs> always. <laughs> Rescuing somebody from somewhere. Uh, He's, as I mentioned, very creative, uh, making uh, activities fun and enjoyable to attend. And certainly that's the reason why uh, I chose him uh, as my partner and, and uh, to join myself and Jack Allen to uh, lead up the bicentennial events for the entire year because we needed somebody like him to be the creative uh, brains behind the endeavor. Uh, Roger loves youth, uh, the youth of the, com uh, the community. He's been employed by Wadsworth City Schools for 36 years. Uh, he first started his teaching at, uh, at Isham. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> uh, uh, started teaching at Isham for five years, and then he became principal. First of all at Valley View, then Franklin and Lincoln, and then Franklin and Overlook, and then Franklin. Uh, that's actually where I first met uh, Rogers 22 years ago. He was principal with my children, my uh, oldest are twins, and they started going through the school. And I knew then that my kids were the luckiest kids that possibly have a principal like him. So without further ado, for somebody that really doesn't like the limelight, Roger Havens, Key to the City. Well, number one, Robin, you're too emotional. <laughs> Number two, does this key mean I have to work evenings now in City Hall? He already does work evenings. And I, I guess I do have to thank you. This is the first time I think in, since we started this Bicentennial Commission that I've been able to sit for three hours in an evening and not have anything to do except sit there and listen to people and enjoy an evening. So I do thank you for that. And here I came under the auspices that uh, Dr. Hill told me that I was a stand-in for his wife, and basically I was a cheap date. <laughs> <laughs> so now I can see the motivation behind it. <laughs> so I do want to thank everyone, and I grew up in Wadsworth. Obviously, I know a lot of history because I've lived through a fourth of Wadsworth's history. Do the math. <laughs> and by doing that, um, 
this is my way of giving back to the community because I've been so fortunate to get a job in Wadsworth right out of high school and to teach here, to be a principal here, and I see former students out there, Mr. Mance, Mr. Novak. I do have to tell the story of Jeff Novak. <laughs> Valley View School, what were you, third, fourth grade? He lost his retainer at lunchtime. <laughs> the retainer you put in your mouth. Look at those straight teeth he has today. <laughs> so he lost it during lunch. And he had packed his lunch. And he says, I think I put it in my lunch bag and it's now in the dumpster. I was much younger then. I took him out to the playground. I crawled into the dumpster, started pulling out these trash bags went through at least six of those large bags, and I tell you, a few times I gagged. <laughs> I cannot believe what milk smells like even a few hours after they dumped it. But there was a few times I nearly lost my groceries. <laughs> we did find the retainer, and fortunately for him, I found 56 cents in coins in the bottom of some of the bags, so it was well worth the effort. So Jeff, thank you. So anyway, without further ado, thank you, but you know what? She's the brains behind the bicentennial. I'm just, I just do what I'm told. And thank you, Robin, and we're going to have a great year. Thank you. and I'm representing the economic development uh, for the city of Wadsworth as well. Uh, this next award is for Outstanding Nonprofit Organization of the Year. Outstanding Nonprofit Organization of the Year. And the nominees are the Suprema Senior Center and Cafe. Two longtime friends chat happily at a corner table. Workers hustle as another table is cleared for service. The smell of fresh brewed coffee drifts across the room as a senior center member takes a seat with newspaper in hand. At first glance, the Suprema Cafe looks like any other breakfast diner or local lunch spot. But a closer look reveals something very unique taking place in this innovative new facility. Formerly known as the Wadsworth Center for Older Adults, the center was established in the mid-1970s and has served the senior community from its downtown location for many years. In 2013, the center acquired a new name and moved to the vibrant Wadsworth High School and Community Center campus. The bustling campus is home to the new Wadsworth Suprema Senior Center and Cafe, patterned after the Cafe Plus model and developed by Mather Lifeways of Chicago. The goal of this model is to create a unique venue that serves as a community focal point where older adults are presented with a variety of opportunities and experiences. The initial draw is through the cafe with the overall benefits intended to be far greater than the food served. Seniors are invited to embrace an environment of renewal and growth by participating in the everyday activity of eating. The concept provides seniors with fresh and tasty food, good service, and affordable prices and at the same time connects them to the abundant offerings of programs, services, activities, events, resources, learning opportunities, intergenerational connections, and volunteer experiences. The Suprema Center is proudly staffed by Director Nancy Likens, Activity Volunteer Coordinator Lori Fultz, Administrative Assistant Sherry Gallett, and a small army of dedicated volunteers. The center is governed and supported by the City of Wadsworth. In addition, generous capital campaign contributor, Suprema Incorporated, secured naming rights to the beautiful new facility. 
The center is further supported by a number of community partner organizations, including the Senior Citizens Commission, the Wadsworth Older Adults Foundation, and 66 professional friends. The Giving Doll, located in Wadsworth, has a mission to give faith, love, hope, joy, and comfort to children at times of special need. Since the program was founded in 2006, over 22,000 dolls have been lovingly created and given to children locally, nationally, and worldwide to bring comfort. Started by Jan Householder, a retired Wadsworth High School family and consumer sciences teacher, the program has expanded beyond Wadsworth and now has eight programs in local areas and seven different states, and dolls have been provided to children in every state and 62 countries. Dolls are given to children dealing with a variety of issues that may include illness, dealing with deployment of a parent, death of a family member, illness of a family member, homelessness, and more. Dolls cannot be purchased and are only given to children in need of comfort. Each doll is given with a special doll blanket and tote bag. Last year, dolls with red feet were sent to 62 Ronald McDonald houses, at least one in every state, in memory of the children who became angels in Newtown, Connecticut. Dolls were even sent to a Ronald McDonald house in Istanbul, Turkey. Dolls with pink feet and hair are being given to children of breast cancer patients. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, volunteers gather at the Giving Doll headquarters in Wadsworth to work on all aspects of the doll making process. There are volunteer opportunities for individuals of all ages. The program is funded solely through donations with no paid staff. Stories about the impact of these dolls are both heartbreaking and a blessing. When the program was started, there was no way anyone could have envisioned the growth and impact of this endeavor and the dolls. When individuals hear about the program and all it has accomplished, we often hear, and to think, this was all started right here in Wadsworth. Windfall Industries Windfall Industries, officially named Medina County Sheltered Industries, has been in business since 1963. Windfall Industries is a nonprofit organization and business to provide opportunities, opportunities for individuals to grow and adapt in a changing work environment, opportunities to socialize with peers, and opportunities to interact with society and to self-actualize. Windfall Industries moved their offices to Wadsworth in 2001 and currently provide services to Medina, Summit, and Wayne County Boards of Developmental Disabilities, Medina County Job and Family Services, and Summit County Job and Family Services. Windfall Industries also provides services to Wadsworth City Schools, Brunswick City Schools, Barberton Schools, Copley Fairlawn Schools, and Norton Schools. Individuals served have increased over the years from approximately 20 to 30 individuals in the first year to over 600 people currently. James Brown has been the executive director and CEO since 2000 and with the company since 1995. As a lifelong resident of Medina County, Jim is very proud of what Windfall Industries provides to individuals with disabilities and workers with disadvantages. One of their most recent accomplishments is providing door-to-door -door transportation to individuals with disabilities to get to their jobs working in the Medina County community. Another accomplishment is the collaborative effort with the Medina County Board of Developmental Disabilities, the Wadsworth Senior Center, and the City of Wadsworth to create the Suprema Cafe. Windfall Industries is honored to be nominated for a Rosie Award. I would like to congratulate all the nominees. And the winner is The Giving Doll. Quite a journey. 
Um, starting in 2006, I started making dolls for um, a friend's little girl who had an inoperable brain tumor. I was going to make 12 dolls for her to take to St. Jude's, and when she took them and came back, St. Jude says, can you make some more? <laughs> well, I went to the Center for Older Adults and talked to Nancy, and I said, I have this little program, and Nancy goes, I will give you a spot. So she did, and from then the story has just been such a blessing. God has just taken this. It's way beyond me, way beyond anything that I ever imagined um, to be able to make $22,000. Um, back are, are just amazing the difference something so simple can be and without the support of Wadsworth like I said we have no paid staff if I don't get paid nobody's going to get paid <laughs> um, everything is donated all my volunteers I now have groups in um, 12 different states up and running and doing what we're doing they report back to me how many they made where they went um, it, it's just an amazing story. I have probably about 700 volunteers now um, nationwide. So to start with five with Nancy and, and to grow like that is an amazing story. And without the support of Wadsworth, I mean, from Nancy to then the Cox family saying, come on down to Holmesbrook. I think I have a spot for you. And, you know, our home is there now, Newcomers Club and, and uh, Blue Tip and, and just everybody being so, so generous to us. So what you all need to do is stop down sometime. Uh, we're open Tuesdays and Thursdays from 10 to 2. We're a bustle of activity. And uh, what you all can do is, is pray for the ministry and the kids. Thank you. Mr. Havens, I did appreciate that story. Thank you. I think my mom was sitting over there and uh, feeling the same way because she was in that dumpster a few times too. So. <laughs> I want to thank everyone for being here tonight. Uh, congratulations to all the previous winners. This is the last Rosie of the night. And this Rosie Award is for Outstanding Business of the Year. Outstanding Business of the Year. And the nominees are Clamco Products. Clamco Products Incorporated was founded by Jim and Linda Venner on June 24, 1971. Born in Wadsworth, Jim had a dream to start his own business. After acquiring an electrical engineering degree from Case Western Reserve, an MBA from Northwestern University, obtaining four years experience with a Cleveland company in the same market, and then convincing Linda to support his dream, he did just that starting in a small space borrowed from his parents' monument business. Initially, Jim did all the work, sales, purchasing, and manufacturing. Family members helped as sales grew and gradually the company acquired a workforce. Now, 43 years later, Clamco employs 150 people and continues to be a family-owned business in many ways, with their own family working in the business in one capacity or another over the years. Currently, their son Jason is Human Resources Manager. Clamco also employs many families. Several employees are related to each other, husband and wife, father and son, and brother and cousin connections as well. Clamco has outgrown three locations and has sales worldwide. Their production facility on Wall Road was expanded to 72,000 square feet in 2009 and now is filling up again as they manufacture products used in agriculture, construction equipment, mining, pharmaceuticals, trucking, space, and underwater robotics. Clampco has always been committed to Wadsworth, using local vendors whenever possible and supporting the community in many ways. Wadsworth has been good to Clampco and they are happy to give back to this vibrant, friendly, and helpful hometown. Sieber Keck Insurance. In 2013, Siebert Keck expanded to Wadsworth with Tri-County Insurance Agency. While the merging of these agencies may be new, the friendship is not. 
Christine Hopkins and Craig Hassinger, president of Siebert Keck Insurance, became friends 30 years ago at Wadsworth High School. Craig Hassinger, a 36-year Wadsworth resident, is married to Susie Hassinger, a lifelong resident whom he met at Wadsworth High School. They raised their two children, Haley and Nick, in Wadsworth. Craig takes pride in supporting many of the local organizations, including Medina Creative Housing, Medina Community Police Activities League, Leadership Medina County, and the YMCA, as well as being a city council member for the city of Wadsworth. Christine Hopkins was born and raised in Wadsworth and raises her sons, Tyler and Duncan, here among family and friends. She was the recipient of the 2013 Rosie Entrepreneur of the Year Award, served as the treasurer for downtown Wadsworth for three years, and was the first female president of the Wadsworth Lions Club. Currently, Chris is on the Business Advisory Council for Wadsworth City Schools, a member of the Wadsworth Library Strategic Planning Committee, and a volunteer for the downtown Wadsworth events. Siebert Keck's involvement also includes the YMCA, Chairman's Round Table Member, Salvation Army Support, Medina Community Police Activities League, Leadership Medina County, Wadsworth Library 5K, and a Wadsworth Area Chamber of Commerce Board Member. Siebert Keck is a local agency, actively and proudly serving our community, and is committed to goals of growth, community involvement, increased employment of local talent, and providing an excellent service to clients. They look forward to many years to come in Wadsworth. The Galaxy. The Galaxy Restaurant and Banquet Center opened in January of 2000 and currently employs over 100 employees. The Galaxy is owned and operated by Robert and Phyllis Leatherman and family. Since the initial opening, the Galaxy has expanded its services based on customer needs, including a bigger patio, built in 2005 to accommodate seating for 100 people. The outdoor patio and sports bar offers an exciting atmosphere with music, TV, great food, and fun. The addition of the wine room took place in 2006, offering a relaxed elegance in fine dining. The award-winning seller has been given the Award of Excellence from Wine Spectator magazine for the past 10 years. The new Circle L Steakhouse was renovated in 2012. The Galaxy's signature steak is the Cowboy Steak, in addition to other fine hand-cut selections of steaks and chops. Emphasis has been put on the farm-to-table concept. The local Circle L Farm in Burbank supplies all the ground beef and specially featured steaks on the menu. The Galaxy Banquet Center has been utilized for many Wadsworth events, including fundraisers, proms, chamber, rotary, and Lions Club events, corporate events, and weddings. The Galaxy is looking forward to hosting the upcoming Bicentennial Ball in November. The Galaxy family appreciates the many positive comments people share, expressing that they are fortunate to have the Galaxy in Wadsworth. The Galaxy Restaurant and Banquet Center is proud to be a part of Wadsworth and feels blessed that people recognize them as a support for the community, fulfilling needs not only for individuals and families, but for businesses as well. Congratulations to the nominees. And the last Rosie of the night goes to... Clamco. Too. We couldn't do it without them. That's right. Honey, come on, come on. I got really here. Well, thank you very much for this uh, recognition. We're uh, especially grateful to receive this award because um, even after 43 years, uh, we have customers all over the world. We don't have any customers here in, in Wadsworth. 
we like to. We don't have any uh, industrial customers. Uh, one long-standing customer has been the Ken Vini Racing in the racing industry, so we've been glad to make the clamps uh, for them in that industry. But uh, no big industrial companies. So somebody wants to start a company. <laughs> we'll make that <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but uh, we've been operating uh, quietly since 1991, <clears throat> just inside the southern border of the city. And over those years, uh, we've designed almost 20,000 different clamps, clamp designs, and about 40% of those or so <clears throat> are active in any one year. But uh, we certainly uh, can't take all the credit, and we wouldn't be able to do all that without the support of some uh, excellent people, uh, some of which are here tonight. But we've been fortunate to hire some really good people, so we're going <coughs> to give you a little. Jerry Bajini, who's our general manager, he's been with us for three years. Claudia Match is our office manager. You've been with us for about 21 years. Randy Toddy is our chief engineer. He's been with us for 27 years. Um, Rick Gissinger, is, uh, he's our uh, operations manager. He's been with us for 27 years. And Derek Sanborn is our sales manager, and he's been with us for seven years. Going on eight, so we are we're very thankful for all of them. Our son Jason is our HR manager had to go home for a family emergency, so we'd like to have him here with us tonight. Um, it has been a family um, operation, and as someone mentioned before, you uh, bring your family into it uh, for, with the good and the bad, and we remember many dinners at home when the kids would look at each other and say, can we talk about something else? <laughs> <laughs> so they, they've had to put up with it. But um, we've been married for 46 years. We've been in business for 43, and we're still talking to each other. So <laughs> thank you very much. I want to recognize Linda especially because she's been a big part of our success too. And uh, we, she's always been a good person to bounce things off of, and we agree on almost everything. <laughs> Thank you very much. And remember, we're holding the world together. Before Janie has her closing comments, I just wanted to take a minute to thank Janie and her staff for uh, putting on an amazing night. So please give Janie and, and all her volunteers a round of applause. Thank oh, thanks. It was uh, truly my pleasure. And poor uh, Sharon Wright, she just is not a glue and ribbon person. Yeah, but she... <laughs> But she was a trooper about it. Okay, so we're going to uh, close everything up here. And we're really thankful for all of you being here tonight to honor these great people, the recipients and the nominees. And um, I just wanted to um, say before you leave, I really appreciate being part of, of the Wadsworth community. And as you can see, I know we, we kind of went long on the video tonight. I think it's so wonderful to learn about the things that go on in Wadsworth, so thank you. That was uh, really nice to learn all about those um, businesses and individuals. So before we leave, let's send the lovely centerpieces home with the person at your table who has lived in Wadsworth the longest. <laughs> who is it? And thank you to everyone, and we'll see you soon. <laughs>